is pretty sweet. Hmm. Radiance Band. So this is the Thursday Evening Cup Series uh, semifinals with Team Wild Wild Witch Doctors against Osiris Dyer's Gaming. Band. I'm your caster tonight, Pyronic EX, and with me I have the Ice King. Can steal Radiance the Band. <laughs> uh, so we've got our first bands already. Naga Siren, first band coming out of Osiris Gaming. Dyer's Band. Uh, Doom and Slark getting banned out by Wild Wild Witch the Doctors. Doom. Doom's a new one for me for a first, first round Radiant band. The Slark I see a lot just because teams don't know how to deal with him, but the Doom, I don't see him first band much. Uh, I actually am really surprised to see a Naga Siren as a first band. I don't think yeah. I've seen that. Uh, I guess they're scared of the Wombo. They're scared of the Wombo and the Rat right now. The first two bands went right to stopping the five man and right to stopping the split. Ooh, so dire's big. something I've noticed in NEL lately is that IX Mike has been exclusively playing, uh, like offlane Faceless Void whenever possible. Uh, in his like pub games, he's played it like I don't know thirty or forty times in the la in like straight. And the only only like three or four games he hasn't played offlane Faceless Void, he's played Nature's Prophet. Dire's so. big. Uh, he's been practicing those offlane heroes quite a bit. He's uh, getting away from his support role, huh? His five. Well, I mean, he is only really into the, in that when he was playing uh, with that team. Um, so he he's uh, he, he's played a bit more than that, a, a bit different than that in the past. And I'm excited to see it then. Yeah, I've only seen Ten him with his five slot with Liquid. And he, I, and he's still, you know, a huge fan Five of uh, Nick's assassin, regardless of what slot that's in. I'm always an advocate for Nick's assassin. Radiant's pick. pick up on the Radiant's ban. Actually, he, we had a uh, Mike played a pretty good Marana in NEL last night. It might have been the night before, actually. Um. But I would not be surprised if we saw a faceless Ten one pick up here to go. In, in another pick or two. Um, other heroes to look out for. SNA is a fiend on Puck. That dude Reserve plays a mean ass Puck. Uh, well, what do you think of this Invoker pick? I think Invoker is probably one of the strongest mids in the game right now. So I noticed um, when you guys played that your invoker still went uh, Quas Exhort rather than he does. Quas uh, Flex. He gets the four points into each so he can have double fort spirits. He likes the room control. Uh, okay. He just likes being able to Ten dominate that to middle lane early and he gets Midas up and then he puts him right into Wex afterwards. Radiance Bay. Okay. It works out for us a lot just because he can shut down their middle with the Exor Quas combo and then start roaming around with a level 4 Wex tornado. It looked like he was having some trouble Dyer's getting ban. off the like Yule's spam combo uh, in that game at least. Against the Enchantress? The, the, yeah, well, yeah, that was the game he played it, but uh, it looked like he had... He attempted and missed it a couple ten times. Seconds to, ten seconds to go. We were really go. tentative to take fights. I don't know if you saw, yeah. but Five we seconds. were very scared of taking fights until that middle fight where we were able to turn it. So where you just time. entered their buttholes all at once. <laughs> yeah, it was a really scary time, and he usually is able to get those almost every single time, but we were screaming Dyer's at him over Skype to be more careful, be more passive. Let's just <laughs> wait until they make a mistake. And they ended up doing that, and that's, that's what someone's good dropped teams out do. like a kid yeah. in school. Uh, so it looks like somebody left the game. That might have been one of the spectators, as I don't see any disconnects. Uh, but we had our next set of bands coming out: Outworld Devourer and Skywrath. Uh, Outworld, ten see. seconds to go. Uh, the Skywrath. I rarely see picked Five or banned, but he's yeah. a very intimidating mid and support. Unless you're thinking about picking up Reserve a in your lineup, which it got banned out by Team Wild Witch Doctors. 
so I'm really confused. Well, I'm wondering if they were kind of anticipating the combo in throwing big. out uh, like a Nightmare or Fiend's Grip and then, you know, the, the Skywrath ult on top of that. It is pretty strong. That's a lot of damage coming from Mystic Flare. Uh, but yeah, Radiant banning out like two of the heaviest pushers in the game in Death Prophet and Pugna. They are going really greedy for their side because in my opinion it looks like they're running that Verona as Ten a carry, seconds to so go. they don't want to be pushed in really quick. So I can see why they don't want the pushers on, Five seconds. on the board still. Well, there's the obvious combo. Uh, I mean, like that's going to be, Reserve you know, time. that's definitely going to be a last hitting Marana. But paired with the Bane, you're just going to see nightmare sacred arrows like all night long. Uh, and not a lot of heroes can survive that, especially if they're solo off laning. Right, that's what I'm saying. But Marana takes a, a long time to get up and get going. That's why I see the the ban outs on the quick tower takers just because they don't want gold going to the dire side really yeah. quick I think with you know not not exactly a super heavy carry being in that that safe lane farming role I think that sets up the off lane faceless void here I, I, like I want to see it, see it. I, I, <laughs> I have not seen that yet and I'm excited I yeah would like uh, I would also like to see it. I will be pretty upset if it's not paid. What? Dive wow, pick. Womps would be happy right now. <laughs> I cannot play that hero just because I have the worst gambling luck and I never get the slot machine to run. Radiant's but pick. A viper right after that. And that's a uh, that's a good counter to actually all three of those heroes. Ooh, Ooh. Dyer's Shadow ban. Fiend. Uh, we're gonna be seeing some. Some crazy bloodlusted agility ranged carries here. Yeah, and they still need to pick up their off lane here. So they do still need to pick up their off lane, and Damn you know what's you know what's better than running at a thousand moves and speed inside a chronosphere. Five seconds. Running a thousand moves and speed inside a chronosphere with bloodlust on. Radiance bang. Yeah, it's. I would, I would love to see it. I'm. I would be the first advocate for it, but. Ooh, so uh, last ban, they, they got rid of an offlaner that they thought might be disrupting in there. Well, um, if you pick up an Earthshaker, at least in my opinion, it's a guaranteed ban on a Clockwork. Because of the cast time on him, you right. can just shut him down the entire game. And it's probably the most infuriating thing in this <laughs> game, is to be Earthshaker and keep raising your total battery and assault. Yeah. battery assaulted. And you just do that stupid shimmy up and down with your... Ooh, a bat. I saw Radiant's pick. bat be a little... Oh, yes! there it is. There Call it. it is. <laughs> I've seen bat be a little... It's it's a hard hero now, because I saw Empire get stomped with it, just because of the lasso range got nerfed, and yeah. they linked forward many a times and could not connect. It's so not quite far isn't. enough. It isn't, so I'd like yeah. to see this Bat Rider play well and get right on those lap -ups. Places, everyone. Right. I'm pretty excited about this, so yeah. Uh, so one of the things that he's uh, done pretty... Oh, wow, okay. They're, they might offensive. be... They're both going offensive. This might yep. not go very well. I don't know who's got the upper hand here. I mean, IX Mike has the ability to have those trees down there to buck, duck and weave, but... Yeah. I don't know. And that you bat will... is a sitting duck. You, you're most likely going to see uh, Mike max out or uh, put extra levels in time walk real early. And uh, quick ancient ward by 30 Ice seconds Mike. to go. Just, just blocking the uh, the stack there. I'm not sure who would even take a stack. Um, I've seen Ooh. the visage. <laughs> Ooh, boy. I got a, a little uh, excited about that ward. Double wards, 
But uh, I've seen a Visage be able to take those Ancients down pretty quickly. Okay. Just because of Familiar, he's at level 6, and if he is in the tri-lane, he's usually and getting killed. Off. Which means he can usually get up a uh, Medallion of Courage pretty quickly. Also, I really like this visage, or this uh, Vision Ward, because uh, if you're looking for those long arrows, I think that's the perfect place to have Vision. We've got an Invis up on Visage down at bottom, but I don't think that's going to do much for them. Yeah, I, I doubt it. I don't think they realize that they, uh, they're not going up against the tri-lane. Earthshaker's already moving around. Bat is not even getting in vision range. Mike already getting orbed by the Viper. Oh, and the Visage pops the invis to maximum. Get some harass out. Earthshaker lurking behind the tower right now, looking for her first blood on the Shadow Fiend. I'm not sure if that's a very like good use of his time though. It's gonna be a while till Invoker gets oh, level two. At top we've got a nightmare. Sacred arrow oh, going out. Zero. A little close, but it Where looks is like the fire blast? Yep, blood. there it is. Oh, Easy peasy. So, so now they the know diplomacy. that their tri lane is not going up against theirs, which I think we'll see some rotations. Yeah, ES is already heading up there. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Visage TP up, because he's already got one in his inventory. They kind of expected yeah. that their lanes might not be ideal. Yeah, and honestly, like, who thinks that They're a Viper... they out the ES. They've got that deep ward. Let's see if... Oh, oh they're chasing hard. hard. He's got four, four stacks on him. I'm not sure if this is... They're going for the Nightmare. Yeah, oh. but he's got a lot of stacks on himself. They've got TPs coming, looks yeah. like. Yeah, uh, they got a bail seven. Oh. Oh, that auto attack. That mega goes off. We're gonna see a defensive arrow. Oh, block. Uh, here it goes. Oh, Son but it missed. A... Arrow missed. <laughs> it looks like they're all gonna get away. Yeah. That was, that was, that was... costly. I mean, that Marana dove really hard. A so quicker TP nice. by the Visage might have turned out better, but. I guess they didn't lose anyone. And that's yeah, that, was, that I think that was some pretty, pretty well executed play from both teams there, not to lose anybody. Uh, but as as I was about to say before all that happened is, um, I don't think there's many people who would believe you if you told them that Viper would have a hard time soloing against the Faceless Void. Yeah, he uh, doesn't. He's got 13 CS and 69. He's not doing too terribly. The Faceless Void has four against a Viper. That's that's pretty good it's in my book. Four more than I would assume. Yeah, it's <laughs> in a way matchup like, like that. Least. This mid lane currently in favor of Invoker, getting some harass up. Denied. Actually, uh, this Invoker is doing really well against Shadow Fiend. Like I said, he's going Exhort 2, and I think it's still just about the lane control. Because yeah. they picked a Shadow Fiend into an Invoker, which I don't necessarily agree with, just because Invoker can stay in lane and stop him from taking those early towers. He can stop him from getting those souls up, and with Cold Snap, he can go for an easy kill. God, even just one point in Quas is so much health regen, it's so, so strong. We had a double damage rune top that got denied by Visage, who's roaming through dire jungle right now. And Shadow Fiend augmenting his farm with uh, some casual jungling here. And IX Mike has opted for poor man's shield and more regen. He's just going for maximum sustain in this lane. I'm surprised he's maxing time walk over backtrack. Uh, yeah. I know that it lets him escape, but if he can just backtrack more, then I think he would have more. 
sustainability in the lane. So I've been thinking about it a bit, and I think like he's aiming to play faces a little bit like a clockwork who can just kind of scale up better as a carry late game, and just you making sure like using time walk chronosphere the same way you would uh, hook shot and uh, power cogs, and just kind of disrupting a team fight, and so he just he doesn't like he needs to have that long like you know as long a range as possible. Uh, but then he just kind of fills more of a support role until these team fights where he can maybe get some assist gold and start getting enough damage to kill things. Hmm. Does Shadow Fiend is caught up in last hits and probably worth a little bit more just because some of those were chunk creeps. But he has been denied 11 times so he's probably a bit behind in XP. Actually, yeah, they're almost even in XP. This is those jungle creeps did him a world of good. Denied. And now he's starting to pull ahead. Now uh, he's starting to get more souls and his mana refilled out of that bottle. That is ours. They're Marana and that. Uh pretty in favor of the Marana right now. 25 to 11. Yeah, the Bat is going to have know. a hard time going, getting his Blink Dagger, like with any kind of speed this game. Yeah, that... I, I almost think he should just like migrate into What's the jungle. What's with all the Oh, Radiant and we got a Shadow Fiend kill on the Massage. Down at bottom we're seeing possibly a double kill. There it Mike is. did go down to the Sunstrike, but uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, two if kills. He's that off lane roll, Radiance mid tower's getting banged up. Back up at top, Bane might fall here to. Yeah, the he's gonna go. Oh, what? He's get denied by the wow, that's solid. To to There's lots of action going on. A <laughs> few seconds right there. Yeah, Bat Rider was almost in a position to die to those creeps too as he uh, fireflied over them. But as you were saying, if uh, if IX Mike is taking the role of off laner, then giving himself up for their carry it was a good trade down there. Especially yeah, since their Shadow Fiend picked up two. Yeah, yeah. I, and at this point, they with the uh, okay. So yeah, Shadow Fiend has his Midas now, which is pretty fast. Cause dang. Um, but the longer they can keep technical difficulties, the longer they can keep the Bat Rider off of Blink and ES off of Blink, uh, like that Shadow Fiend can start getting his items. He'll get that BKB before that goes online, and I think that'll just kind of spell doom for Osiris in this game. Yeah, because that Shadow Fiend is farming up pretty well right now. Radiance mid towers coming apart. Yeah, almost four thousand net worth already. Four hundred gold a minute. And I kind of want to see what what uh, this ogre magi is doing. I've been seeing him kind of running around the map, not accomplishing a whole lot. There's an offensive time leap onto oh. with the uh, arrow. Oh, they yeah. with, uh, uh, he backtracked it. Oh. And that's what the ogre was doing, roaming around waiting Your for a fire end. blast. Uh, yeah, sometimes you don't even need a nightmare to set up an arrow. Chronosphere works just fine, too. Yeah. Got a radiant fair stack mid tower for the coming apart in the radiant jungle too. Looks like he's he's completely out of mana though. He can't raise that. No, not yet. But when he does, he'll almost have enough. He's got enough for his ogre club right now. I don't know if he wants to go for that sustainability or right to a mithril hammer. Looks like they're they're pointing out different stacks that they're trying to set up here. And they found the bat lurking on radiant's ancient. Gonna try and firefly away. Oh, and he's gonna burn his lasso for this. See if he can make it, and he does. Oh, maybe not. Oh wow, Mike actually Mike almost, almost caught up to him. Falling to that. 
Radiant's top tower. If he had mana en enough for another time walk, he could have gotten that kill. Bat still only at about fifteen hundred gold. They're leaving that viper down to farm alone. It looks like he's building right into mech. Radiant's mid tower. Pretty standard nowadays. Up. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, things are looking a little dicey there for Mike. Managed to avoid going in anywhere near that, that uh, sun strike. Double smoke bot by the Bane. Oh, Ooh. and Midas picked up by the Marana. Triple smoke bot by the Bane. Oh, maybe that was just a bunch of selling and buying back, because I saw three go up, but there's only one on the courier currently. <laughs> oh, he's got one in his inventory, one on the courier. I'm so confused. And one on the Ogre Magi, so it was three pickups of smoke. <laughs> it got distributed. Teams playing pretty passively here. The Dyer is kind of off the map for the most part. I think Invoker is rushing towards that Yules. He's got the staff. He and the yeah. and He's got shape. all the makings for it. We'll see. Looks like they want to go in on the Invoker here, and there's the time being forward, and the Chrono, but he got his own Bane in it. Top tower so taking hits. Maybe they do have Moonlight Shadow on him. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh my god. Maybe the Shadow can get more. Oh. Wow, okay. Yeah, there's some... After IX Mike with Radiant's top tower is in bad shape. And Viper Strike comes out. Magic stick. Oh. oh. Echo Slam. Leaps to possibly safety. Yep, he's gonna make yeah. it because of backtrack. Backtrack saved his life right there. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that's that's one thing that uh that Team Wild Wild Witch Doctors needs to keep in mind. Dyer's bottom tower is uh, business. Even even when they're doing as well as they were, like they were up pretty significantly. Guess Dude, what's happening to like, Dyer's it's still early tower. enough in the game. Oh wow, that Sunstrike? Yeah, that was a Sunstrike. Uh, like, they they do not have durability the items yet. Best do and about their Dire Team tower. has plenty of nukes that do not give a shit. Uh, and, and they uh, will just, they will murder you dead. Guess oh, yeah. what's happening to Dyer's bottom graph. tower. Swung right into the Dyer's Can't favor. Nothing about dire structures right Gold now. Two. And that's, Dyer's that's bottom Midas towers getting too. the business. That's two Midas's up on the Radiant. And they're still getting out, outclassed right now. Yeah. I don't think I see a Midas up. There's no Midas on the Dyer. Oh, there is. There's one on the Invoker, so. Batrider got his Blink Dagger, finally. And Viper's almost got Mech. That'll be bad news, I think, for There's Radiant Team. There's smoke up on bottom. They're looking towards this Marana. Yeah, there's the Yules pick up. Oh boy. This Marana. Ooh. She gets Ooh. away, but the Ogre paid for her sins. <laughs> I think that the uh, dire smoke would have would have grabbed somebody. And here's a better Chronosphere. No, no teammates caught in it, so... <laughs> there you yeah. pick that one off the Setting up the easy arrow. Shadow Fiend getting the last hit. That's uh, more of what this team is. Been disowned. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. need to be kind of careful here. I think Echo's coming up in... Yep, Echo's coming up in... 12 seconds, so... Trouble Thankfully, bottom tower. Uh, Earthshaker does not have look no yet. Breaking down the radiant also, look like at this. that Earthshaker skill build. 
That's actually really common now. It's much like how Storm Spirit, you would max your E just because you get better damage output without the mana. But I, I don't know about skipping one in your enchant totem. That just seems a little... Hmm, I don't know about that. Also, Aftershock has a really short range. It's only 300. Um, but it, I guess it, it would significantly improve Echo Slam. And that's what I believe the rationale is. Not only does it help the Echo Slam, but it's more damage for less mana. So you've got the, the longer stun when you catch people with Dyer's Echo. Top towers you can beat follow them. Fissure when sometimes you don't have that 1.5 seconds and you get either Orchided or CC'd before you can land another stun. Hmm. And it looks like Radiant are going... They want this tower. I think that's 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 a way that they can get you know, some of their advantage back in terms of gold. This is just to uh, get this tower. Get a couple Soft towers, maybe. Gonna try and keep them away from this tower for a little bit, but it's going to fall. Radiant's top tower is taking hit. And Dyer it's just not going to be picked up by anyone, tower. so that's more team gold. Radiant, or, top. Radiant top One tower goes top down. Tower for yep. the Radiant. That's what the Quas or the Exhort Invoker is good at. Is if he's left to just push, he can take towers very easily by himself. Yeah. More smoke coming out for the Dire team. Any? He... I haven't seen Radiant pop their smoke. They yeah. still have one on the ogre, and uh, Bane dropped his. They either used it or, I mean, I have no idea where their smoke went. I must not have picked that up when they used it. There you go. They missed the IX mic though. Maybe that was intentional, but it doesn't seem like it oh, since no. they were playing the Piranha. Oh. They're gonna try and re-engage with a Piranha buyback right here. Bat's gonna fall. Resummon on familiars. <laughs> Arrow out mm, into a range creep. And Radiant they're just gonna get out here. They don't, they don't need to do anything Dyer's more about that. Uh, but that was a buyback? Yeah, buyback out of the Murana. It was a buyback by the Murana. <sighs> and she's. Unless they can make something of this bot push right now, that's gonna be costly for her. Actually, yeah, I, I think that. Osiris is overextending here badly. That's oh. Ooh, and Visage familiars pick it up. Uh oh. Uh, Earthshaker blocked himself in, so he can't really follow up with an echo. But Visage and Viper are going to do Don't the necessary know. work. Ooh. And the soul assumption coming out. Yeah, the, the uh, gargoyle stuns, or familiar stuns, keeping that Dyer's band from getting away tower. were pretty important. You know the drill. They spot out IX Mike. Oh, he time leaps away. Just in time. Double damage. Shadow Fiend trying Radiant's to bottom trade tower for top tower, and it looks like he might. He Dyer, might die for a synth, though. So you will... Here comes tower. the Wombo. Oh, and yeah. Trouble brewing at Radiant's There's that combo. Bottom tower's done for. This has got the tower bottom. It looks like Dyer's pinging to go to Roche, which uh, mid -towers get I think is a good up. idea. They've taken a lot from the Radiant. They have the ability to do it, especially mm. with a medallion up. Radiant's mid -tower so both teams hand. have been trading towers, but uh, Radiant has not been coming out, out on top uh, as far as losing heroes when these towers go down. Yeah, there's a significant difference in gold. Almost uh, just over 2,000 and about 2,500 have been experienced in the favor of Osiris Gaming. This this is an invis bat. This might not go very well. That's a time leap away. He's just getting back to base in order to uh, get to the fountain yeah, well. faster. Yep. And he's going straight for Yasha. The move speed and the extra attack damage are really important early on for the kind of play he's aiming towards. I don't know if that uh, Ring of Regen is actually going to be used for anything, or if that was just to help mitigate I uh, the harass. I think from... that it might turn into a Vladimir's offer later, 
just yeah. because that would be nice for only himself, but that's yeah. that's some life steal and an aura damage. Radiance mid towers coming apart. I know that sometimes you'll look to pick up a desolator on a void and you can't take that with another life steal. Those random sun strikes, man. It looks like the dire starting rope here. It did just deward, so Radium probably has a clue. They're looking to pressure this middle tower to possibly pull him away, and they do. Viper's gonna stick at it though. The Radiant know what's going on, but it seems like they also know that they can't contest this at this time, so it's going to be a free Roche on yeah, the Dire Sun. Yeah, not without Chronosphere. Oh wow, uh, Shadow Fiend actually rushed a Lincoln, so I'm Roche not really sure Tips how I feel about that. Um, it helps with the Bat Lasso, but man, if they burn that, and they can burn that Fissure even. And that would still do. Does that work. block Viper Alt? It does block Viper Alt, but as long as the Earthshaker lays down a fissure, he can catch multiple people and burn the Lincolns with it, so yeah, I yeah. don't know about that pickup. And we do have. Yeah, he's got the Yasha picked up on Faceless Void now. Chrono's off cooldown, so he's looking... He's going... I guess, just positioning? I, I don't know why he motioned towards Secret Shop, but there's a DD up on the Invoker, so this is kind of scary. And... the tower is going to fall. Radiance mid towers getting the what for? Well, we're on a split push is top, but I don't think that's worth it. They're not going to. I don't believe Dyer would give up. The Dyer might want to mine their top tower. A tower for free here. Them Dyer nope, buildings there comes are tough as nails the TP for now. Out. Marana has to back off. Ooh, Blink Dyer coming out for the Earth Shaker now. That's that's a it's a very scary cow man now. Yeah. Wow, that over arrow almost hit bat. I I don't know if you saw that. That was just like max range. That would have been like a, that would have been a kill 100%. Yeah, looks like we've lost this game here. Oh, his internet seems to have dropped. Someone's having technical difficulties. Back now? I believe so. I don't know what happened there. The Skype's giving me issues, and it gave me issues with my team as well. Mm -hmm. As you know, we usually use events, so I don't know. This guy has just been giving me way too many problems. Are you, are you on wireless? I am, and I think that might be the, the case. Yeah. Uh, so, there was some, some a little bit of shenanigans there. Marana I got into a fight with Batrider, uh, but after a sun strike came in, Marana had to get out, and nothing really came of it. No, it looks like almost every ulti is up. So, except for Lasso, that's refreshing pretty quickly here. Invokers just split pushing bottom. Radiant bottom tower in a pretty sight right oh, now. Oh, here comes a fort. Maybe a time walk onto it. Nope. He needs another couple teammates here, I think, if he wants to do it. Ooh. Oh, and he gets caught, and there's the sun strike, and he'll fall. 
Here comes the TP. TP rotation's coming in real quick under Moonlight Shadow, but it looks like they'll trade for the bat. I don't know if that's worth it. There. The bat kind of has what he needs, so yeah, the more shutdown they can get on the faceless void, the better it is. He's, he's got, got his force and his blink. Top yeah, this, yeah, not a whole lot more he needs after that. I guess he can finish his boots, but and if he's got the Radiant's mobility already there. And with all those TPs now, the, uh, the dire team is making a move on this top tower. Radiant's and top tower if I recall shape. correctly, I Ooh. believe... Nether Toxin actually deals damage to towers as well, so this Viper... No, no, ne if Nether Toxin did damage to towers, Viper would be OP as fuck. Dyer's mid-tower could use a little help. And it looks like they're just Ooh. splitting the damage, and that's gonna be the downfall here. Urshik comes in with a good Echo Slam, Bane's gonna fall, Bane's gonna they, they actually stack a uh, Fisher stun and then a, gar a uh, familiar stunned Mike like right on the edge of the uh, Chronosphere. So he did, he only got to attack I think like twice during that whole Chrono. Radiant's top tower is hurting. They'll lose this top tower. There's nothing that they the can do about it. Bat's looking for... Tower. Nope. Just some superior vision with that Firefly. It looks like Shadow Fiend almost has a Manta finish. That that'll probably help out quite a bit in these team fights. I don't know if Manta is the proper choice. I still think a BKB would be better. Yeah. I know that he can shed the cold snap from Invoker, but man, are there's there's just so much magic damage on the other side that it's not going to be stopped by a Manta. Aghanim Scepter just came online for the Invoker, so he's going to be throwing out more spells than usual. Viper's got one too now, so he's got the Mega Range Viper Strike. And it's on, Radiant's like, no cooldown, 12 seconds. Days. Yeah. He can keep the entire team Viper Strike with that. He's looking pretty tanky too, between the Mech, the Scepter, and an extra Vit Booster. And we definitely like need to see some... Invised. Not gonna make anything of it. Oh. Spot out orange and top, and she leaps. A oh, but yeah, that was almost bad. <laughs> that invoker is gonna pursue with nope, not not enough move speed with that, that leap coming out from Verona. They're about to face check right into yep. The viper sees it. He's sticking around. He's kind of greedy and he does get nightmared here. But the Earthshaker is going to be enough to scare him away it looks like. I think that they could have had that fight but uh, they don't know that. <laughs> that was a 4 versus 2 and they did have their middle there to back them up. Mm. So it still seems like the Radiant team just kind of need more items. They're not really equipped to do any team fighting. They're grouping up as five right now. No breaking through the dire structure. They are going to now. burn a fort. Here comes the bat though, and he's turning away. I think he realized maybe they're a little close for him to try and jump in on somebody. So, as I thought, one of my friends just confirmed for me, the tooltip of Nether Toxin deals half damage to creeps and buildings. So oh, it half damage. Like, so it it does deal extra yeah. damage, like yeah. I thought. It, it's just great. Towers, taking hits. I really like this spell in general. Yeah. But uh, we've got some fighting going on. Ike's mic does fall. Bat's going to get away from it with no help. And there's just a lot of Radiant Death going on. Oh, Shadow Fiend. That's four in a row. They're gonna lose the Shadow Fiend, they're gonna lose the Faceless Void. And they're going to pick up... Man, I didn't even see when they picked up the Bat. I thought the Bat was home free, but... I guess he came back and he died for that. Mm. 
Yeah, that was Radiant's know, really sloppy all around. Mike's only got one point in backtrack, so he didn't. He took the whole combo without dodging any of it. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Yeah, the entire team's gonna play it safe here and back off. He, even though the shadow beam, oh, yeah. Ice Mike finds the invoker just being a little too greedy. Oh, His team backed matters. off. He should have probably. That that is definitely what this Marami needed. Six hundred twelve gold. Yeah, that shut down gold. It's important. I would be surprised if we saw. Anything other than a uh, Manta on this Marana pretty soon here. So we're probably gonna I can see... see her wanting to get a Sanjin Yasha for the extra health, but I you could always break that down. I just don't I don't know what the Manta is gonna do for the the Shadow Fiend and the Marana went almost identical builds and yeah. it's showing through the Shadow Fiend that that's probably not the best thing to have gone. Because he fell in that team fight no matter what. There's the ultimate orb, so it's going to be a Manta. Uh, I just don't know how much Ix that's going to do. Yeah, Ix Mike also has the Yasha, but he's definitely going for SNY. He's got the belt of strength. And, uh, and the main proc, along with time lock, is, is useful, but the attack speed and just general survivability are really important for him. That's trying to scout out with superior vision with Firefly, but backs off and just takes the farm at top. He picked up some boots of travels there from that last fight. Scouting out Roach, he's still not up yet. Invoker was looking for bottom, but uh now Roche is up. Out. You're only a couple seconds off. <laughs> <laughs> well, they will be checking that again shortly. It looks like Earthshaker is motioning to blink right back in there to check it. No! There's pings coming out, so... Oh, and there's a... There's an Aghanim Scepter picked up by Visage, so... Oh, wow. Triple Familiars. Gonna be a lot of damage coming out. He's actually been really good at using those familiars so far in this game. <laughs> well, they know that Roche is up and Visage is starting it with his familiars. Looks like the Dire team's gonna group up here to take that down real quick. The Radiant, Radiant do have a, a okay. turtle ward here, but they're way too spread out to stop it. They they just want to keep farming. Like they're they're really confident that if they get the, up these items, that they'll be able to take a fight. Uh, and we'll have to see if it pays off for them. Well, the Shadow Fiend is looking to finally be making a BKB here. He's got his Ogre Club in his stash. Ooh, but yeah, he's maybe, close. Maybe this next team fight Radiant with this BKB will show us what this right farm now. will do for them. He could sell uh, his Hanamitis and just get the. <laughs> BKB right now, but I'm not sure if he's willing to do that. Dyer's I don't think he needs tower. to just yet, unless you know they the pressure high ground. Oh! They burn the Lincolns, and here comes the follow up. Ooh, but that bat's Ooh, gonna pay. That and the arrow sneaks by to grab the invoker, but. Oh wow, they might actually get away like because of that arrow. Oh my god. That yeah, accidental arrow. <laughs> searching, but he's going to figure out that they are gone. Oh, oh my god. That's the best worst arrow. <laughs> miss miss a target in chronosphere, but then it goes and hits a dude in the back. Well, it was on target. It just the bat died. So, <laughs> that worked out really well for them. Dyer's mid tower could use a little gonna help. throw some damage up on this mid tower, Dyer's but structure's looking I don't know why. Fine. Now it's in deny range and those images are gonna get wiped, and here comes the deny. I think that was. Seems I don't know about that play. Tower's been disowned. Hart's now up on Viper, so he's really fat. That's it's gonna take a lot to bring him down. And he's got the Aegis, so bringing him down twice is gonna be a task. His corrosive skin might even do enough damage. So I think this this Shadow Fiend is kind of really terrifying now. 
I'm sitting with the Manta, Black King, Bar, Lincolns, Midas, Power Treads, and then the Bloodlust. Like, that's a lot of attack speed. He does do a, a significant right click damage. I just don't know. They've got a lot to deal with him on the other side, though. There's the SNY pickup. So that's the first item that IX Mike has actually been able to pick up. Yeah. That's his first core item at 35 minutes, and I don't know that. That does help him, I just don't know how much it's going to do for him, though. And this smoke is not going to find anybody as they're all pushing the bottom lane. Radiant's bottom towers seem better days. That their smoke is going to Radiant lost lead to one nothing. Of them bottom towers. And that Viper, <laughs> with both Aegis and Heart. The Dire might want to mine their top tower. We got our. TV's home now. But they already gave up Dyer's that tier 2, and tower, this tier 3 is taking you know, so you know, much damage from gargoyles and four spirits. Yeah. It's almost now. a half right now. Oh. Just going out on the Viper, but Dyer's that's not the ideal target in my down. mind. He's got an Aegis, he's got a mech, he's got the help. They also uh, use Moonlight Shadow there. An and arrow's gonna fly in the Visage in the back, but that Fissure's gonna cut off the majority. He just can't. They did get the, the gargoyle or the furious. Yeah, they got two and then he resummoned, but they're going right back and sieging that tower. Another familiar with Paul. It's a hundred gold to Mirana. That's nice. Okay. Nice. Alacrity going on that Viper and he's just swinging away. That nether uh, talk is work. He takes that tier three with almost no. Oh boy, and here's why I don't think the so Shadow King's going to get his oh, ult wow. control. He's going to smack the bat down. Oh wow, I x Mike. Three, three. Oh boy, and they're oh, well, I x Mike. There it is. Three down. They only have the Viper left. He's got the Aegis. They enfeebled the Viper. He's going to back for a Sunstrike, but definitely doesn't. <laughs> oh no, Bane. That's four. They stopped the TP too. Viper's cleaning up the got another Viper Strike out. Oh, yeah. That's gonna tick down you know IX Mike. He's gonna have to back, he's, or else he's going to die to that Viper. The Viper's still standing strong. The, like I said, that he is just a force to be reckoned with. They took down his entire team and couldn't finish him off because of how big he is right now. IX Mike back under Moonlight Shadow. Oh, but he's spotted out by that Sentry Ward. He time walks out real quick. Slot machine goes off. Nice uh, X3 multi there. It deals almost nothing though. Yeah. That gross of skin coupled with the heart. He's he's staying in. Shadow Fiend's forced to buy back. TP's coming in. Oh boy, but here it comes the oh. Echo slam down. Six and a five and a row. Shadow Fiend targeted again. Meteor's gonna fall. Boy, I like taking a lot here. of damage. That Viper is just still in the fight. He is just plinking away at people. It looks like. Yeah, Shadowfiend goes down again. He's like out that's of souls. Buyback. Yeah, that's a buyback from him too. Viper Strike going out, gonna secure the Bane kill. Jeez. They're, they're spamming on the racks. They know that they need to take something out of this. Hero kills are nice, but Radiant's you don't just go up for nothing. Hammered. Viper's gonna keep him at bay. Yeah, they just don't have anything that can stand toe to toe with that. That's just so tanky. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what they have to deal with him. And since that Nether Toxin deals the buildings as well, he's able to just stay there, tank towers, tank heroes, and his team can just plink away. Here he is. They're gonna take two racks here. I know that I Radiant's mid ranks has taken the lead. Probably wants to play this out, but this is looking like it there might goes be the Radiant's mid ranks. Yeah, I think 
they I can see even... GG here pretty soon. Radiant's mid the is yep. out of the picture. Without the Shadow Fiend, the Dire are just not scared. They're putting sentries down in the base looking for Moonlight Shadow, but... Ix Mike going in on the massage, gets Cyclone, takes the full combo to the base. That. He defensively throws up the Chrono, but their Bane still falls. The Viper's just right in the middle of them. There's nothing that they can do. So I was just thinking, how, like, how perfect is Viper here in that Enfeeble doesn't even do anything to him because his damage is coming out of Poison Don't Attack and Nether Toxin and enemies. not any attack damage. Exactly, and that's why I don't know about the, like I said, they had Radiant's the main tower, Piranha combo, hand. and yeah. I just didn't think that it was going to do Somebody's enough, and it cooking. looked like that's the case Three here. Down. That soft carry Piranha can't stand up, up against a Viper late game. Yeah. They do back out from that Radiant's last mid -towers lane, coming apart. but the damage is really done here. They can regroup. They can even wait for Roach if they really want to. It's about to tick too. Dire takes back to their jungle, probably just to wait for those respawns there, gaining a little bit of gold. Dire knows that Roshan's gonna be up soon, so they keep yep. on scouting it out. 30 seconds. I think they'll just wait that out. There's a Scythe of Vice now up on the bat. And also on know. Invoker. They've got two. Oh boy. They've got two sheep sticks. They've got the CC. I just. I don't know. <laughs> it's an AC finished for Viper also. He's uh, even bigger now, too. Yeah, they, they do not really have any way to kill him. They need a flawless chrono with a Shadow Fiend ult in order to even hope to be back in this game. They need a five man chrono with a Shadow Fiend right on the edge of it. Like, they need like a five man chrono and like a five man black hole. They, just, they need, <laughs> they they need, need an Fiend. enigma to appear in their game right yeah, now. Yeah, they, they need Bane to have like Fiend's grip just affect the whole enemy team. That should be uh, Bane's eggs upgrade, like a uh, lion that just sends out a fiend's grip to everybody. Dude, here's my pitch. I think LC should have a Aghanim's upgrade, and it should be an AOE duel. Oh jeez. Here they initiate with Moonlight Shadow. They do get oh they trap the Shadow Fiend in on it though. They're going to pick up two. I have Mike still running around. He gets Deputy Blast. Oh. In, but it's not gonna do enough. Three days, they actually come in wipe them. That Viper is still ticking away at people. He might. He's going to fall. Nice. He does, he does still have the Aegis, but Shadow Fiend can take it. I think. It, oh, that arrow. Oh my God. Radiant's mid tower's coming up. That's four to roll. And I think the Bane is gonna. Nice. They've got a buyback on him. Here it comes out for him. They don't have a buyback on. So now I guess the question is, is what do they spend their gold on here? And how do they get out of the base with two sets of racks down? <laughs> well there's, there's one answer. <laughs> there is a Daedalus out, so he will be swinging even harder, but I don't... They. They had a perfect fight. Like I said, they needed a perfect yeah. fight. Even though the Shadow Fiend was in the Chronosphere, they took out the ones that they needed. They got rid of the bat. They got rid of 
the visage. The Earthshaker didn't have much to Echo Slam. I don't think there was like a wave of creeps there when he hit. No, the only wave that was you there know. was allied, so... Yeah. Going to wait for the Viper to come up to do anything. I don't know what that Viper can buy that would still be useful. I guess he could go Boots of Travels. Mm. They do have a cheese just sitting in the base for him, too. It's just sitting right in the <laughs> dire fountain waiting yeah. for that Viper to spawn. And he's oh, going man. to pick it up. Moonlight Shadow Cast. I ask Mike Scout now. He does find the Invoker. He's pinging him out. There's nice. the Fiend Grip. There's... Oh, there's, there's the Chrono. The the Fissure comes in to disrupt, but it's not going to be enough. The Invoker is going to fall. That is buyback Invoke, by the way. That's 100 seconds. Two dead. Two. They do pick up two, almost a third. The Bat's going to get away. So that's a three-man defense. Yeah, Marana's going to TP back to base in order to push out the creeps. So this is, this is real nice for them. That was a fight far from their base. They're going to be able to push up the lanes now. They're, they're earning themselves some breathing room. That Earthshaker, after he got his blink, he just hasn't gotten anything. He has his blink, he bought a Staff of Wizardry, but he... I know that Earthshaker doesn't... Oh, here goes a bat on to the Marana. He's gonna try and come in and save. Which he might. Here comes an arrow out onto the Viper. They're splitting oh, damage nice. again. They need to focus. Ix Mike caught out. God, he's so tanky. Uh, oh my god, the, the cheese. Five Echo row. Slam going to Somebody connect, but not going to bring career. anyone down. Nice courier There's kill. There's a courier kill as well. Oh man. And again. There's a medallion picked up at 46 minutes by the Bane, <laughs> looking to get any sort of damage output that they can get onto that Viper, because he's just so dead. Look at, yeah, look at that. 33 armor. He is just a complete beast. But we've seen that they can take him down, and... Eventually. And he's all out of cheese. Viper strike out onto that Ogre Magi, oh, and he poor is Ogre dead Magi. in the water. He is, he's dead. Here's a Chrono, it misses the Viper, it misses the bat. Oh, the yeah, this... Lassoed up. I don't know. Two down. They might be in trouble here. Rain goes down. Oh. Shadow Seven in gets a row. an ulti off. He's gonna start smacking away. But is it enough? Invoke is back up. He's coming in. Oh, boy. Uh, Somebody's coming in. Here it is. Two down. Radiant's mid tower. Toronto leaves to safety. Hand. But she's the only one up. That's no buyback Radiant's on the Shadow Fiend, no buyback on the Bane, no buyback on the Ogre. We do have a buyback on the Faceless Void, but he only has a Sanjanyasha as we talked, and yeah. no Chrono. There's still 30 seconds on that Chrono. They need. I think they're just gonna let it go. It doesn't look like Marana's. Marana doesn't even have boost travel for another 10 seconds. Yeah. So Damn. She can't even do anything. Dire are, for some radiant reason, really excited about hands. getting that third set of racks down. So the well, it to does secure, the no almost secure, and they win if they can take their structures. Megas and the first fly he gets the Viper Strike immediately. Dyer's oh, of course, back down. out. Radiant's Ten seconds on Chrono. Two, Ogre one. Looks like Radiant's falling to is getting Viper. Stopped. Everyone falling to Viper. Just like before, Viper doesn't care about people. That's All four cares about things ain't looking bright for Radiance Ancient. Oh, your blood sours. Get a load of the Ancient over on the Radiance Piranha side. just running back. She burned her boots of travel, but didn't go, and she finds the Invoker. Radiance top rack. Oh, Echo Slam coming long. out. Followed the up Radiance the top There's rack. a sheep. Did Dyer's got well, a case of them. There goes Marana. Oh, big Chrono. Radiant's Ancient is under pressure. Buy back on Marana. Oh boy, but Ix Mike is gonna fall for this. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Shadow Fiend and Marana, maybe they can form a defense, but they've got Megas. Yep. I don't know what kind of defense that they can make. 
both tornadoed, both caught. Radiant's ancient oh, has taken okay. a beating. Hate to be in their shoes. Oh god, look at how little the damage that ult did. And he's cold snap down, it looks like. He's trying to swing, but that cold snap's just gonna keep him there. Oh. And of course, that boy. Bad to follow. They do pick up the invoker. He buys back. The Viper is just gonna keep on swinging at people again. He's just not gonna go here. There's the game. Uh, that was intense. That was a very action-packed game. That's I think that's the most kills I've seen, even in my games and in this one. That's.